do another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have me, the Rhino, on my lonesome. I have a beer that's 8% alcohol. That's right, 8% alcohol. I'm going to get drunk. I'm going to get drunk. No, I'm probably not. But anyway, this 8% alcohol beer is from La Brasserie Lefebvre. They're the brewery that does Newton's Apple Ale, Belgian Craig Cherry Ale, uh, the Floref beers. This is Bar Bar. So, Bar Bar is 8% alcohol. It is a honey beer. There's the cap, it's the same as the label, it's actually a pretty awesome cap, uh, from Belgium. Thank you, Mel, for picking this up for me in Quebec. And we are using the very regular looking shock top glass today. Again, it's it's just your regular shock, it's just your regular beer glass. Um, yeah. Every time I look at it though, I think of Paul. Isn't that a nice looking beer? Isn't that a nice looking beer? It is honey colored. Uh, there is a lot of carbonation moving in there. The head slightly off white, about two and a bit fingers, but it's fading pretty quickly. It's big, robust bubbles. You can hear it doing the snack crackle pop. Looks great though. Smell? Oh. That's weird. I'm getting honey, like you would think you would from a honey beer, but I'm also getting um, honeydew, and uh, almost like a, I don't know if when you were a kid you ate a lot of Fruit Loops, but you know that smell the Fruit Loops would give off after they've soaked in the milk so much that they're no longer hard, they're now soft, and your milk's changed colors. Kind of has that smell, that really just sweet, fruity candy-like smell that would come from your bowl of milk and, and soggy Fruit Loops after it sat for too long. But with honeydew and with honey, and it actually smells really nice. And I want to drink it. Cheers. Oh. Oh. No. No, that's not for me. Um, wow, that's sweet, that's almost sickly sweet, that's, uh, that's diabetic shock in a bottle. Um, lots of honey, lots of malt, and lots of sugar, pure on sugar. You get the sugar and the honey first, and the actual malt taste doesn't come till afterwards, like I'm getting the malt now. Uh, it actually tastes like a non-alcoholic malt beverage, like Malta or something afterwards, or Tiger Malt. Uh, that's what it fades to. But first you're hit with honey and sugar, and it's just sickly sweet. Uh, if you're an ice beer fan, you would probably really like this, because it is just that sweet. It's that sweet, and it is that alcoholic. It's a little bit warming. I mean, there's a little bit of warmth in there. Uh, can I say it's a disgusting beer? No, I can't say it's a disgusting beer. It's just not, it's not for me at all. <laughs> And it's gassy. Plus side, it's 8% alcohol. You don't really taste it. There is a tiny touch of alcohol astringency in it, but not much. It's just there in the background. Um, yeah, it's just it's just sickly sweet. That's it's just way too sweet for me. I feel, I feel like I'm going to wake up with adult onset diabetes from, from drinking this. As I continue to drink it. I don't know, a 3 out of 10? It's not the worst thing I've ever had. Just, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. If I have to give it pluses again, alcohol is strangely very low. You don't really know that you're drinking an 8% alcohol beer. It smells very inviting. It looks very inviting. And it can get you drunk. It's it's not offensive in um, 
it's not offensive in the same way as a lot of the low-end beers are. It's not offensive in the uh, sugar-fortified sweetness that, uh, that an ice beer can give off to some people, myself included. Um, but for me, it is way too sweet to enjoy. I, again, yeah, 3 out of 10. I'm not even going to chug it because I, it might make me sick. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. See you soon.